Okay, it's me, Jake. Going on many hours being awake, but it's official. I am done with school. I turned in all my assignments, taken all my finals, and if everything goes right. I'm done. I'm so tired. It's, it's behind the wheel. It's dangerous. Waiting for Dara. This is my video blog. Jake talks about things that he's thinking. He just thinks out loud. Jake's video blog! Um. What do I have to say for myself? This person just jogged by me. I'm talking to a camera. I feel a little awkward. The windows are open. Um, first of all, I'm very happy to be done. Hopefully. I'm only four days away from graduation. You know, a lot of people are worried about the legacy they'll, they'll leave uh, school or, or uh, whether they'll have a good GPA. I don't have a good GPA. My legacy is not much. I did try to leave a legacy, but it got broken because we tried to put a sword in a stump with concrete. And we spent several hours, actually several years, planning it. And then in one day, somebody just broke it off and... So that wasn't a legacy. The only legacy we have is a bunch of concrete and a stump. So there's not a lot to say about my legacy here at Huntington University. Um, I do know that uh, I probably learned some stuff. Um, I laughed a little bit, cried a little bit, a lot of waiting, a lot of waiting for Dara in my car here, still waiting for Dara in my car. If I was going to sum up my time at Huntington in one word, I would say lush not lush like uh, like I was really productive I'm not sure why I said lush I'm a little confused about that I'm not even sure why I'm talking to a camera right now um, people behind Tinder are nice most of them. Some will tear your heart out. But others will put put it back. Um, what can I say? What else can I say about Huntington University? Slightly prestigious. Expensive. Heartfelt. I'm not sure why I'm parked and wearing my seatbelt. There's some things that I don't understand about Huntington. Why does DC, when you visit, smell so good and taste so good, but when you start coming here, it's, it's terrible. I'm gonna just talk about things I see. Now I see some volleyball nets, Here, I'll show you. You can't see them. There it is. It's a volleyball net. I see some bikes right there. I can't see them. I see the rearview mirror. Things in the rearview mirror I see here is a bush. Uh, some more bikes. Seatbelt. I see a rendezvous. I'm 
Let's say something profound right now. <laughs> Live your life like you mean it. Not like it's your last day. Be realistic. It's probably not. And if you live like that, you're just going to panic all the time. Live. Live like... Live like you like it. That's my... That's what I say. Live like you like it. Even if you don't, fake it. Because eventually you'll learn to like it. But you know what? Sometimes you're not gonna like it. But if you pretend, you will. You will learn to like it. As we go on, we remember all the times we spent together and as our lives change come whatever we will still be friends forever it's a graduation song it's really about high school graduation not, probably not as much about college graduation maybe a little bit the thing is, by the time you're in college, you realize that, I mean, you've learned that, you know, things change, people graduate and move to new places. You've already experienced it in, in high school. you learn to guard yourself against it in college and probably for the rest of your life. I mean, I'm, I haven't lived the rest of my life right now, I've just done the college thing, but this song it's on the radio right now. It really sums up the way that she feels about life for her little brother. She wrote this for her little brother. Life's still unwritten. It's unwritten for me. I'm just a burning ball of potential right now. I'm gonna cry from all this potential in me. I'm not sure why Dara hasn't come out yet. I think she's waiting for me to call her. Crazy. I'm like quadruple tasking right now. Cameraing. Since I'm not driving. Hi. It's going pretty good. How are you doing? That's good. Oh, I might think about it. I said I might think about it. I thought about it. I accept. Okay. I love you too. Bye. So I'm on the brink of graduation. I'm on the brink of a wedding. Uh, life's crazy right now. It's slowing down a little bit because I just finished school, but I'm nah, just going to pick up again because it's wedding week. And, uh, you know, these are the days that define who you are. You look, I mean, it's crazy when. When you talk to people and they look back on certain days of their lives, they remember like their graduation and their wedding. And mine are both uh, a week from each other. So, you know, brilliant there. They're probably gonna blend together. Uh, here comes Dara. Um, we'll see if she has anything to say. I'll let her in. Um, my advice, like I said, live like you like it. Do you, like, you have anything profound to say? On the let on this on this day, I would say maybe be really sure what you want to major in before you major in it. Live like you like it. That's all I gotta say. Live like you like it. Quote that. T. S. Eliot. Forget it. Jake Snyder. Live like you like it. See ya.